This video is intended to be used as a reference. Please refer to printed instructions for complete installation information. Prior to installation, review all safety precautions in the installation guide. Unpack the unit. Open the door and remove the stopper located on the right side of the door hinge. Then remove the door. Slide the core and the filter cartridge out of the unit. Remove from the front plate. Assemble the four hooks on the unit. Carefully punch out the hole for the wall control wire in front of the unit. Insert a small length of the wall control wire into the unit through this hole, then route the wire through its front channel. Remove the side door of the electrical box to access PCB terminals. Run the wire through the hole in the electrical box door, then connect each color-coded wire in their corresponding terminal. Reinstall the side door. Reinstall the front plate. Snap in the four ports on the top of the unit. Then use four screws per port to secure them. Using screws, install the four chains and springs to the joists. Ensure all the chains have the same length. Hang the unit to the chains and verify the solidity. Punch out the bottom hole for the drain. Seat the gasket in the cavity. Insert the drain connector and hand tighten the nut. Perform the same operations for the left side drain hole. Reinstall the filter cartridge, the core and the door. Close and lock the door by positioning the main switch to normal remote. Plug one end of plastic tubing to the side drain connector, then cut enough length to reach the middle of the bottom of the unit. Plug one end of the remaining plastic tube to the bottom drain connector, then cut enough length to reach the first tubing section. Using the provided T-connector, connect all tubing sections together. Make a water trap loop in the tube below the T-connector. Carefully pull back the insulation to access the inner flexible duct. Slide this inner duct to the tandem transition. Attach to the tandem transition using tie wrap. Pull the insulation over the joint, then pull the vapor barrier over the insulation. Carefully seal with duct tape. Repeat the operation for the other insulated duct. Then carefully seal and duct tape. Insert the tandem transition in a 6 inch diameter hole in the exterior wall. Run the insulated ducts to the unit and if need be, cut off excess length. Carefully pull back the insulation to access the inner flexible duct. Connect the inner flexible duct to one of the left side ports and secure using tie wrap. 
Please note that the flexible duct coming from the top of the tandem transition must be connected to the fresh air supply port on the top of the unit. Refer to the installation manual for more details. Pull down the insulation and tuck it between the inner and outer rings of the port. Pull the vapor barrier over the insulation and over the outer ring. Seal with duct tape over the joint. Do the same for the other insulated duct. Slide one end of the flexible duct on the fresh air to building port of the unit and attach using tie wrap. If desired, attach the duct to the hanging chain of the unit. Attach the other flexible duct to the last port on top of the unit using tie wrap. <laughs>